Hi guys, welcome back to my BrafX US guide. Now I'm gonna review Tidebringer Kaito. So let's start on the normal form. So he has four amazing killers, okay? 200% on Demon, Dragon, Machine, and Fairy. So yes, he can be useful, especially on Class of Wheels, where the enemy tends to have two type, okay? Very nice, and his passives are also pretty good. 300% through double hand, 200% limit burst damage, and the most important is 200% faster chain, okay? This is really important because his limit burst and normal abilities are chaining, okay? Not finishing. And he also able to give your party 200% dragon, demon, fairy, machine healer, and minus 50% accuracy debuff to enemy, okay? but that skill only available when you have more than 100% morale and because it is morale related it is not available on the normal in quote content okay so only for class of wheels but do not worry because he still has 150% dragon machine or demon fairy killer buff for your party but the catch is this is only for physical damage okay both mitigation and the killer so it's not like white dragon link and previous buffers but still because it is physical dps i can say it's okay to have something like this okay and he also able to imbue your party with water and increase the damage by 45 percent which is great for himself he able to get like 50 percent water damage boost okay but the greatest thing about kaito is he can grant water absorption buff okay this is something really new back then we have like fire if i'm mistaken from louis so now it's water so this type of ability gonna be really useful and talking about offensive he able to chain with bolting strike but i can say the chaining damage may be not that impressive between 180 to 530 times maybe it's more if you use his class of will exclusive ability but i really cannot test the damage because the enemy tend to die because of his dot okay damage over time passives and talking about dot this can mess up on easy stage of dark vision okay when you want to build up your damage but if you bring kaito the enemy probably die okay because of this dot maybe not on higher level but on lower level this can be annoying okay just just point this out okay maybe you are don't bother with it but i simply tell you and his limit burst on this normal form is pretty good okay first it is chainable with triple bolting strike so yes even when it is chaining it's okay because remember he has faster chain so you can reach uh maximum modifier cap really fast and it is also super dispel remove all buffs from all enemies so amazing and talking about super dispel his normal attack is also super dispel so wow pretty good character you get here and the damage here i can say it is amazing because if you have 30 times buff okay uh, from his grandest then this limit burst has 350 times base damage and i believe this buff stack with a fledgling warrior which make him even better but again i cannot test it okay i simply assume it can be stacked and yeah uh i'm not I, I don't understand about the machine damage okay because i use him on cactuar like you know that cactuar is plant enemy but this limit burst still deal damage to cactuar so i really don't understand against machina's min okay but yeah the point is you can still change this even when not fighting against machine that's for the normal form pretty decent dps now let's take a look on the brave she form so on brave she form he still has those amazing passives and killer too bad he loses his faster chain but again that's okay because on this form he is breaker okay and i can say he is pretty good breaker the first break he has is 88 percent all stats break on the first turn and it's gonna reapply every turn plus super dispel wow amazing right 
88%. I know if you aim for the damage, there are 90%, but still 88% above average. And he can extend debuff and decrease buff from enemies. But remember, this is grandest and only work for class of will. So even when interesting, it is limited. And for the bolting strike chain, it has, it seems has um, better damage modifier. But remember, he doesn't have faster chain. So maybe in the end, not that great. And yes, I can say that. Mm, he lacks something on this form, which is 90% defense and spirit break. Some of you say, oh, it is a fable. Yes, I know, but it's only a fable on class of wheels. And when your morale above 150%, it is not a, it is not a problem on class of wheels. But again, you cannot use it on normal content. Okay. But still, it is pretty decent because if you take a look here, the limit burst, it is amazing, okay? Especially if you have X plus 2 Kaito, that means on the first turn, you have 90% attack magic break, 88% defense spirit break. This is pretty darn good. Even when the damage is not amazing at all, of class of wheels, but still, this is really insane good skills. And it chain with extreme Nova, and like you know that, Yes, Aster, premium global exclusive, also chain with Extreme Nova, so they pair really good. Okay, so really amazing. But now let's compare to other characters. So the reason I complain why his 90% defense and spirit break only available on Clash of Will is because remember, we already have Lara Croft and Louis, okay? I know, okay, I know Kaito is full-fledged breaker while Lara Croft and Louis are not. But my point here is here, okay? Lara Croft and Louis defense spirit break available outside of the class of wheels. And remember, you don't need to uh, build up morale or something like that. So I think um, Kaito... If you want to make his break only available on class wheel, class of wheels, then I think they shouldn't make it only available when above 150%. Okay, but it is what it is. So yes, just remember you still have the alternatives. If yeah, remember you if you have Lara Croft and Lewis, then maybe you don't need to pull Taito that much because why do you need to maintain defense and spirit break for a long time? Basically, you only unleash it on the turn when you want to kill the enemy, right? That's how we play this game right now. So I can say mm, maybe not that important to have that 90, both 90% 90 defense and spirit break on same character, especially like you know that Kaito, yes, he is great, but... I don't think he is that suitable for Spirit Breaker because like you know before that his AOE killer buffs not apply to Mage. So yes, I think that's all you need to know my conclusion for Kaito. So Kaito without a doubt, he is really good character, okay? First, he is super breaker, especially on class of wheels, okay? Very, very powerful. And for DPS, he is also pretty good on both Clash of Wheels and Japan content because on the normal form, his base limit burst damage can be really high, okay? And you don't need to wait for SLB or crap like that, okay? Really powerful character. And yes, his Trust Master Reward, STMR, and Fusion card are also pretty dope. For the Trust Master Reward, Wow, it is good for himself or even for your support because it has really high health and it regenerate not yeah, it regenerate limit burst crystals a lot. Five per turn, so it's good for support. For the STMR, it is only good for Kaito. But again, if you need 200 katana, you can still use this because because of the killers and it is and it is being non-elemental katana. So pretty good. And for the vision card, like you can see, you get 500 attack boost for FFBE unit. 
Wow, most strongest characters on this game are from FFB. So this card is good because yes, you can get it on X plus one. So really, really good. Okay. The only thing I don't like is the killers only work for physical DPS and the 90% defense spirit break only available on class of wheels and above 150% morale. But other than that, he's perfect. So I still give him 10 out of 10. So I think that's all you need to know about Tidebringer Kaito. Thank you very much for Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy Brave X Bye bye guys.